Welcome back everybody. Um, I thought I'd show you some updates. Ta-da! I have a few little uh, watchtowers. Yeah. In addition to that I started digging out the world a little bit. Removing some of the stuff around here. So it actually looks a bit like uh, a little bit like an ocean. Side a little bit little peek to the side there as well. <laughs> So the towers, um, it's three floors at the moment, and I will be using a um, a stop right there. Oh, it's actually better visible than the other one. I will be using a, a a pause in there with the detector block at some point. I uh, just got an awesome post on the forums as well with some details and explanation on how to do so. So hopefully I'll get to working at some point. But for now. This is just a very basic elevator. Ah, also Mr. Wiggles is no more. My lovely little wolf died by accident when I hit it a few times with an axe. So yeah, very basic design to power the elevators. This little uh, block right there in the middle up there to uh, a detector block to stop it when the rain. If it's raining, well, you wouldn't want to be up here anyway. So when it rains, the windmill shuts down. Bit of a cool viewpoint of the corridor there. I like it. It's nice. Started adding a bit on the top as well, the sides. A little corridor which goes into mountain for future mining excavation. Balls. And another one on the side for a little dock so you can hook up your boat there. So let me show you around. Oh, actually. Ah, started adding some holes in the signs as well. Might put some windows in later on or maybe even frame it in with a different kind of stone. But it's nice so you can actually see a little bit outside and stuff. The torches are now final. They're just there right now at pretty well they're uh, kind of symmetrical with still at random places to uh, to allow for some viewing so you can actually see some stuff in the night a little bit so you can walk about and then this Doop. so I'm continuing this as a multi-floor story but I want to keep the the middle part open for a uh, well uh, a grand hall, so to say. <coughs> Not too sure about these little wooden panels. Might change that as well, but I like the idea of having some cool or massive looking pillars holding it all up instead of just one giant hall. <coughs> and Minecraft has run out of memory. Awesome. Be right back. Alrighty, welcome back again. <laughs> Sorry about that. So here we've got a little uh, wood paneling to line the walls to make it a little bit more crowded. We'll probably change that because I'm not too happy about that. Um, I wanted to go for sort of a hidden door, but in all honesty again I'm not too happy about that so I'll probably change the, the block dispenser what it's pushing out. I did like the idea of just having a simple door like that. So yeah, a bit of an atrium style corridor again which leads into the sea, so you can hook up some boats or stuff. Very basic, but I do like how it looks. I think it turned out quite cool. And kind of in uh, the same style of the rest of the building. Is sweet! Well, now looking at it, I might actually extend the roof a bit, so you get like a patio style porch, so to say. So even when you're in your boat, you're still dry. I uh, continue the same style on the other side as well, uh, but instead of having a an entrance point, it's just gonna be a, 
a mine shaft or something. As I mentioned before, I want to keep the majority of this part open, so it's going to be like a grand hall with some, like some access from the sides and stuff. But I might end up closing these off as wall segments, so it becomes a little bit less open. In addition, I was thinking about putting a little um, partly hidden platform system here for like an additional uh, entrance point, like a secret entrance. Not sure about that yet. But yeah, that's pretty much it so far. I think it's starting to look pretty cool. It's getting fleshed up. So yeah, I need to find some wolves though. I lost my little Mr. Wiggles. <laughs> oh well. Thanks for watching.